What's going on YouTube? Earth Power here bringing you another This Week in Kaiju Do. This week I've got myself, CVH, What's and up? Gorby. What's up guys? And we've got some fun stuff to talk to you about. So we're finally starting to get preview cards for Clash of the Duel Masters. We've seen two so far. If you yes. The, uh, first, the one. first one, we have Tatsurion the Relentless. He is a nine mana... Uh, fire nature creature, so multi sims getting in there. It's a super at that. Uh, it's a super rare armor dragon beastkin, as all other Tatsurion are. Uh, it is an evolution that is placed on one of your Tatsurion creatures. Uh, it has to have Tatsurion on the name, which is an interesting little take on the Evos. Uh, triple breaking, 13,000 power, powerhouse of a creature. And its ability is weapons blazing. Uh, whenever this creature wins a battle against a creature that has power 5,000 or less, Untap it and choose one of your opponent's shields. This creature breaks that shield. That's exciting. Exciting stuff. You can just clear boards. <laughs> exactly. And clear shields. Yeah. And the other preview card, we'll go to CVH for... The... Well, I think it's... Oh, I guess it's a very rare. It's the fire... Yeah. One of the five very rares from the new set, because I'm assuming there'll be two. Uh, or maybe... No, one fire very rare. Then there's going to be like five multi sub varies, most likely. But yeah. for a fire very rare, we have the level eight Magma Dragon Melgars. An armor dragon. It has 11,000 power, double breaker... And the ability Lava Breath, which says whenever this creature attacks, banish target enemy creature that has power 3,000 or less, then banish target enemy creature that has power 2,000 or less, and then banish target enemy creature that has power 1,000 or less. So it basically has Dragon's Breath whenever it attacks. So that's pretty cool. And, fun fact, it's worded better than Dragon's Breath 2, because it says then banish a creature that has power 2,000 or less, so it's less confusing gotcha. for people who don't, might not understand how that card works at first glance. Right, the, the points yeah. that it has to go by. So, we've also got a preview on Thunder Sultan's channel. Check out his link below. That preview will be up by the time you guys are watching this. As well as Dan Tack's Twitter. Definitely follow him. He tweets out, I guess, a bunch I of cards. I think Reddish has two cards, right? Yes, Reddish does have two cards. They're two multi sieves light water cards, I believe. Ooh. So, definitely go check them out there. And again, his link will be down below, as well as Dan Tack's Twitter. We don't know what he's previewing yet, but Imagine. it'll be up by the time you guys see this. And also, stay tuned to CVH's articles on Kajuda.com. He's got a preview card that'll be up towards the end of this month. So Yeah, Very indeed. Cool it's, it'll actually, the article will probably be going up May 1st, so check that out. Preview card is sick. Can't wait to show you all. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, so, we got prizes. They've shown us what the prizes are for the Kajuda Master Challenges. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, as you can see from the picture... Uh, the prizes include playmats and deck boxes, so Woo! pretty intense stuff. First place winners receive the KMC finalist playmat, which you can see in the picture, kind of. It's going to be the Tritonus yeah. and Infernus yeah, yeah. yep. They're holding hands. And the invitation <laughs> to travel for the Kaijudo Championship, as we already knew. And second place receives the, also the playmat and the invitation without the travel to the championship in Seattle. Yep. Uh, and then civilization winners, if you pick the civilization... Uh, and you and like you're like the highest ranked who pick that civilization. You get the KMC playmat, a KMC deck box, booster display, uh, lapel pin, messenger bag with the civilization patch, and a framed civilization card art, which actually looks pretty sweet from the picture. Yes. And yeah, uh, so. if you're in the winning civilization, the person who wins, and you're in that civilization, you get a uh, cool civilization buttons and Kaiju Do Master Challenge deck box for playing in the same sieve. That's there if you, you chose the same sieve as the person who finished highest. Yeah. Also, you guys, it has nothing to do with anyone's deck. Like, you can choose water and be running mono fire. It, it, it's just a fun little raffle <laughs> thing on the side. Yeah. Nothing to do with your deck, nothing to do with anyone else's deck. It's just, yeah. like, aligning yourself heroically with the, like, with a fun the winning civilization. Yeah. 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 Nothing to do with your deck, you guys. Fun stuff. I'll say it three times just to make sure you understand. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, we talked about this last week, how we are going to talk about how to prepare for... The Kajuda Master Challenges, how to prepare yourself for events in general, if yes. you guys are traveling around to these tournaments in the future. So, first things first, don't come unprepared. Yes, this is just... Did you just say the first way to become prepared is to not be unprepared? Yes, okay. yes we did. All yes. right, <laughs> we're going there. Yep. Uh, I can't tell you how many players show up missing parts of their decks, needing, scrambling to find last minute extra cards, uh, you know, writing down deck lists, that kind of thing. As mm -hmm. Prepare for in advance as much as you possibly can. Yeah, bring everything you'll think you need. Yes, that includes notepads, that includes die, that includes your deck. Extra deck sleeves. Boxes, extra sleeves. Your binder. binder. Yeah. <laughs> Some water to stay hydrated. You know. There you go. Yeah. So, on the on the note of water, be hygienic, guys. We don't want to smell you. I don't Unless... think anyone else wants to either. Yeah, you probably don't want to smell you. <laughs> be real about it. <laughs> Nobody wants to smell anything they shouldn't be smelling, I guess let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Wear so. some deodorant. You know, Shower up. Yeah. Clean up. 
Definitely yeah, don't try to cover the fact that you didn't shower with deodorant. You have to do both. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It really yeah. doesn't take that long. Body spray only gets you so far. Yeah. Yeah, guys, make sure you get there early so you can scope out the event area. And basically meet all the new players who are down there. Like, there's going to be a lot of people you don't know. So, yeah. it's good to get to know them, get to know the area, and that can all be talking about. competition. Exactly. Oh, indeed. They might be talking about decks. And that's just knowledge that you can just soak up and just have. Yeah. Don't, like, this goes into being prepared, don't, like, wait until the last day or, like, when you get there to decide you're going to trade for something, because it'll either be, like, you'll find out it's impossible to trade for a certain card, or you'll just get, like, yeah. or no one's going to have it tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. That's a good word. And finally, guys, make sure you're buying everything in advance. You get your plane tickets down packed. You figure out how you're going to get there. Coordinate with the people you're going with to make sure they're going so you don't get the short end of the stick should someone decide to bail out. You know, figure out your hotel and figure out how you're going to get there in general. Like, we're taking a train to one, we're flying to two, we're driving to three other ones. So make sure you know how you're going to get there. And do this as far in advance as possible because last minute they will like charge you more yep. the closer it gets to the time where you need to be there the more money they're going to ask you to spend to do it oh indeed so the better you can coordinate the better time you're gonna have strictly financially speaking and also just to kind of round things out here yep uh, Yami Michael posted something in the Kaijudo, Kaijudo Dojo page on Facebook if you're not a part of that group join up um, apparently France and Brazil have been airing or are going to air, I guess, the Kaijudo TV show. So, uh, possibility of some overseas product there, maybe get some players in France and Brazil. Yeah, they could, be, could be starting the train rolling, if yeah. you will. Get that global initiation. Indeed. Know what I'm saying? I do. I do know what you're saying. I'm glad. So, yeah, guys. Stay tuned next week for another This Week in Kaijudo. Check out the social links below, the Facebook, the Twitter, all that fun stuff. Yeah. And hopefully, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.